you can use the Amazon Relational Database Service RDS Console, AWS Command Line Interface, or Amazon RDS API to turn on query logging. In this example, I will use the Amazon RDS Console to turn on query logging on Amazon RDS for Postgres instance and Amazon Aurora Postgres cluster. Open the RDS console. In the navigation menu, choose the parameter group. If you haven't created a custom parameter group, then choose create parameter group. Otherwise, select an existing parameter group that's associated with your Postgres RDS instance. Here in my case, I already created the parameter group and I'm going to use that in my demonstration. Note, when you create a database instance, the DB instance associated with the default parameter group. Because you can't modify this group, you must create a new custom parameter group. And when you change the DB instance from default parameter group to a custom group, you must reboot the database instance. In the parameter group settings, find the parameters named log underscore statement and log underscore minimum underscore duration underscore statement. Enter log underscore statement and then change the value to DDL. You can modify the following values for this parameter. One is DDL which logs all data definition language statements such as create, alter and drop. Other one is mode which logs all DDL and DML statements such as insert, update and delete. And the third one is all logs all the queries regardless of the execution time. Now enter log underscore minimum underscore duration underscore statement and then change the values to 1000. This value is in milliseconds and equals to one second. Note the following example parameter modification logs all the queries that can take longer than one second and also logs all the schema changes. Save the changes to the parameter group. Note these parameters are dynamic. If your DB instance has a custom parameter group, then you don't need to reboot the DB instance for these parameters to be in effect. Now go back to the main RDS dashboard. Select your Postgres RDS instance. Choose modify. In the database options, select the modified or newly created parameter group from the drop down menu. Choose continue to complete the modification process and then choose modify DB instance. After you save the parameter group that's associated with your database instance, the status is set to applying. After the parameter group is set in your DB instance, the status is set to in sync. To confirm that query logging is turned on, connect to the database instance. In this example, confirm that the log includes all the DDL statements and all the queries that takes longer than one second, run the command similar to the following. Complete the following steps to view the logs. Open the Amazon RDS console. In the navigation pane, choose databases. Choose your DB instance and then choose the logs view. On the logs and event tab, choose the most recent log and then choose view log to see the content of the logs. Note, make sure that you don't set the previous parameters at values that generate extensive logging. For example, setting log underscore statement to all or setting log underscore minimum underscore duration underscore statement to zero generates a large amount of logging information that affects your storage consumption. Make sure that you set these parameters to these values only for the amount of time that you are troubleshooting and closely monitor the storage space. You can use the same steps to turn on query logging on an Amazon Aurora Postgres cluster. The only difference is that instead of changing the parameter in the parameter group, modify the log statement and log minimum statements parameter in the cluster parameter group. Let me show you the steps. Once you are at the parameter groups and if you haven't created a custom parameter group, then choose create parameter group. 
otherwise select an existing parameter group that's already associated with your amazon aurora postgres cluster here in my case i already created the cluster parameter group and i'm going to use that in my demonstration note when you create an amazon aurora postgres cluster the cluster is associated with the default cluster parameter group because you can't modify this group you must create a custom cluster parameter group when you change the amazon aurora postgres cluster default parameter group to a custom group you must reboot the writer instance in the parameter group settings find the parameters named log underscore statement and log underscore minimum underscore duration underscore statement enter the log statement and then change the value to ddl enter log underscore minimum underscore duration underscore statement and then change the value to 1000. Note, these parameters are dynamic. If your Amazon Aurora Postgres cluster has a custom parameter group, then you don't need to reboot the writer instance for these parameters to take effect. Now go back to the main RDS dashboard. Select your Amazon Aurora Postgres cluster. Choose modify. In the database options section, select the modified or newly created parameter group from the drop down menu. Choose continue to complete the modification process and then choose modify DB cluster. After you save the parameter group that's associated with your Amazon Aurora Postgres cluster, the status is set to applying. After the parameter group is set in Amazon Aurora Postgres cluster, the status will change to in sync to confirm that logging is turned on connect to the aurora postgres cluster in this example confirm that the log includes all ddl statements and all queries that take longer than one second you can run the commands similar to the following now complete the following steps to view the logs. Open the Amazon RDS console. In the navigation pane, choose databases. Select your Amazon Aurora Postgres cluster writer instance and then choose the logs view. On the logs and event tab, choose the most recent log and then choose view log to see the content of the logs. For example, 